They are the freaking bomb.com. Y'all. Everybody, today is Monday, and um, oop, there's a hair <laughs> uh, sticking up right there. So my plans for the day. What time is it? It is. It is 11 o'clock. So this morning I read some of the Alien Nanny for Christmas or something like that by Amanda Milo. <laughs> So far, it's so cute. I'm like 30% of the way into it. I think I just need to read more Amanda Milo because I've read one more by her and it was so cute. And this one is just cute also. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. While I was reading that, you saw I was petting and playing with the dogs and swinging on the swing. My dad just put that swing up. Um, he also put a hammock up and so I want to go read in that. Then I'm about to do my stair workout for the day and clean up while I do my stair workout and get ready for filming while I do that. Um, because after I eat breakfast, um, I plan on hopefully filming videos. And I'm thinking this might just be my new filming setup because I tried doing my ring light on the other side of these books standing up and it just tuckered me out so tired standing up like that and I don't have a stool tall enough for you to see like the books in the background. So I think like just sitting on the stairs here might just be good possibly let me know what y'all think i plan on filming my november wrap-up and my november ebook haul so um i have my list for my november wrap-up i have to put my list together for my november ebook haul so that needs to happen while i do my stair workout i am also over halfway done now with fire and his fury by ruby dixon i feel like all i'm talking about are like ruby dixon and alien books <laughs> that's just that's, that's just the mood i'm in right now you know and then i have to start my historical romance today that has to happen and so i may or may not be reading again the magic by lisa Kleypas for a specific video i'm going to be reading it but i am not going to be giving my thoughts in my vlogmas videos they're going to be for my dedicated reading vlog for this book and a couple of other books i also need to post um on instagram my tbr jar pick for the month of December, which is, where is it? Which is A Shattered Moment by Tiffany King. The reason why I haven't posted it yet is because I'm not at my apartment with all my books that the TBR jar has, all the books in that jar. So what I did was before I left for winter break, I picked my December and January book from the jar and filmed it on my phone. But apparently the clips are too long. And anyway, I think I'm just gonna say that I picked this and there you go. I think this is like, a romance between a girl who's in like a car accident years later her relationship with the emt who saved her possibly sounds interesting i've never heard anything about this book and i bought it on a whim at barnes and noble one day so we'll see what i think about this one so i'm gonna get to doing my stair workout and i'll chat with y'all later hey guys i'm currently filming a video but i just got a letter in the mail and it's from brie let me open it up has some cute washi tape on it. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> oh, Brie, you're so sweet. Let's see what's in here. She sent me, she has a little, a card, a happy holidays card. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. What? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Has he, whoa, Brie, whoa. Okay, wait a minute. Also, if you don't uh, know about Bree's Etsy shop, she has um, an Etsy shop is the same as her YouTube handle. Maybe you can see that, but it's in Love and Words, also on Etsy, and she makes stickers and scrunchies. And <gasps> these are some of I I love her stickers so much. Oh my gosh! Come on, get out of the bag. This is so cute. One is stuck in there. I gotta grab it. Okay, so we have a little book. Oh my gosh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Romance tuber. What, Brie, oh my 
gosh, these are so good. We have proud romance tuber. Oh my word. Another proud romance tuber. I'm putting these on my laptop. Holy crap, these are so cute. Oh, one fell. So you just have little ones, like here's a little phone, another little phone, and a little heart. And then we have, the last one is a little heart. Thank you so much, Brie. I'm about to go text you and text you thank you. That was so sweet of you. I love them so much, thank you. Anyway, um, I kind of had a pet fiasco today. So I had to take a break from filming and I have to go back and film again. So um, I gotta get back to filming. <laughs> But thank you so much, Brie. I love you so much. And these stickers are freaking amazing. And they're amazing quality, too. You're freaking awesome. You are awesome. And I think I'm going to put this one on the outside of my laptop. Very cute. Thank you. I love you. Hi, everyone. It is later. Katniss. She's normally not like this. She's so... If you've seen her video, she's so friendly and kissy and lovey-dovey and... Today's just not her day. So earlier I had to like pause my um, filming. I was in the middle of my November wrap up and I had to pause midway through because we had to take this little missy to the vet because she fell down the stairs that are in the house. It's only like three steps in our living room, but we've never had stairs in general in our house before, um, like in our old house. And so she fell down the stairs and her dew claw got caught on the stairs and it got ripped off and infected and we had to take her to the vet to get the rest of it removed. She's normally not like this. She's like happy and bubbly and kissy. She's always kissing me and she's just standing here. I think she's in pain, which stinks. We gotta give her pain meds. My mom has those. <laughs> she was drugged up earlier. Um, she kept like leaning she couldn't stand still <laughs> she couldn't put her tongue back in her mouth she was she was she was she was high on drugs <laughs> but she was in pain so that's what little missy got up to today huh anyway okay are you gonna are you gonna sit with me do you want to sit down you want to lay down with me you're just gonna stand there see she doesn't do this she doesn't just stand here like she doesn't do that <laughs> Are you okay, mama? So I got a package in the mail. I'm pretty sure it's one of my Christmas presents um, for somebody. Um, I think I know what it is, and I don't think they watch my booktube, so I can show you what it is. So I got two things here. I don't think either one of them watch my videos. If Dad and Logan are watching my videos right now, please click off. I don't want to ruin a surprise for you. Also, if you're watching and you're not them, just don't tell them what this is. I got Logan, my sister, a um, a mini ring light for your phone to take cute pictures with. I have one, I swear by it. And so I thought that would be really cute for her. Oh, bye Katniss. <laughs> and then I got dad, my dad, um, some wireless headphones because um, he got AirPods last year or we, we we got him AirPods for Christmas. That was his big Christmas gift last year. I think he accidentally put them in the washing machine. <laughs> or um, And also he just didn't like them in general. I think he's like me. I can't stand AirPods. I need like the squishy stuff to put in the ear. You know, like the squishy ear stuff. Um, I can't do the plastic stuff. I can't do it because it'll just fall out of my ears because my ears are really tiny and specific and everything. So um, I got him these. So fun fact, um, my dad, when we were kids, he would do like a prank kind of on us every year for like my sister and I's big present that year. Like when I got my first phone, which was a freaking like Blackberry or Pantech or whatever, like he like got the little box, put that box inside of a box and put it inside of a box inside of a box inside of a box and duct tape the box and like put glitter in another box and just like, it was crazy. So like the box that, the, like when I saw the box on Christmas day, it'd be like this big, when in actuality the present was maybe like this big. Um, so we just put box inside a box. So I wanna pay him back and do that this year. <laughs> if I can do that, I wanna do it. Hopefully that will pan out. But anyway, um, it seems like Katniss is struggling right now. So we're gonna go get her some medicine. Hey guys, so I am actually going to be doing something very exciting. I'm going to be making my first video for my gluten free or celiac channel. If you didn't know, I'm trying to make a YouTube channel talking about celiac disease, gluten free stuff, everything dealing with that kind of stuff. And so I'm going to be making my gluten free peanut butter chocolate chip fluffernutter fluffer nutter, fluffer nutter cookies. So we're going to be baking today or tonight or whatever. It's literally 8 30 
but you know what i wanted cookies and why not make a video out of it you know so so that's what we're gonna be doing um hopefully this works out really well i have a vision of what i want to do but i don't know if it's gonna look good <laughs> but um we will see we will see so yes i'm gonna be making some cookies hopefully this works out well fingers crossed wish me luck <laughs> Okay, I just finished filming the um, part of the video where I'm just gonna be explaining the ingredients and what we're gonna be making and everything. So, now we're going to be actually cooking the cookies. And I think I'm gonna be watching booktube while I do that. So, let's get to cooking. I'm so excited. I haven't had these cookies in forever and I love them so much. I have my little, um, what's this called? An ingredients sheet. A recipe sheet? I don't know. I made it. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, um, I'm going to be making these cookies. Please, 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 whenever I get to editing this <laughs> cooking video and posting it, please go give it some love and possibly subscribe. I know that a bunch of people probably won't because they don't want to have anything to do with gluten-free or celiac stuff, but I am so excited to start this channel, and I hope that some of you join me in watching my videos, you know, but okay, I'm going to go cook some cookies now. Okay, so these are what... Ooh, can you even see? These are what the cookies look like when they're done. Um, I'm about to go put another batch in the oven. I had to wait for this pan to cool though because I only have one pan currently, so. These cookies are so good. They are the freaking bomb.com. Y'all, if you have not made these cookies yet, what are you doing with your life? Like, this is so freaking good. Like. Are you serious? They, they taste even better with milk. Like you dip it in milk. I don't drink lactate milk. But it tastes freaking amazing with that too. We're going to do it again. <laughs> I love these cookies so much. I got to go make another batch. Hey y'all. So I'm currently editing this video and um i wanted to edit and upload it and export it and everything so we're gonna end the vlog here okay y'all by the way this is me popping in before the end of the vlog sorry for the light over here <laughs> um i am watching colleen ballinger her i i swear by her she's my favorite youtuber who's not a booktuber or jenna marbles um rest in peace jenna marbles rest in peace i religiously watch her videos and um her brother's family's videos. I literally have been sitting here in shock for the past minute. So Colleen has a uh, something called dermatillomania, which I've always thought that I've had der dermatillomania and I think I do. Um, I've talked to my therapist about it and I, she like insinuated that I do. Um, I've never been clinically diagnosed with it. Basically dermatillomania is a skin picking disorder. Um, it's a form of OCD. You like rip at your skin and i've talked about it a lot how my anxiety when i'm anxious or when i talk to people or just in general um i need to be doing something with my hands or else i will rip apart my cuticles um if you can maybe like see i have like scars all over my cuticles all my cuticles are gone i've been okay for the past couple days um but something she just said literally <laughs> well, first of all, I never knew that it was a form of OCD. I've never thought that I've had OCD before in my life. OCD is obsessive compulsive disorder. And I don't think, I don't think I've ever had, I, I've never thought I've had OCD. And then she just said something <laughs> that, anyway. Okay, so let me get to the freaking point. And so she's talking about why dermatillomania is considered to be OCD. And I never knew what it was, how it was considered to be OCD. What she said literally boggles my mind. She said the reason why it is considered OCD. Well, first of all, you can't stop. Even if like, like my mom would tell me, stop picking your skin. I can't do it. I have to like keep doing it. And she's like, the reason why it's called obsessive, comp oh, I, it is in a form of obsessive compulsive disorder is because you have to pick at your skin until it feels smooth. And that, I literally was like, holy crap. I never even thought of that. I've never even thought about, oh, I need it to be smooth. But that's literally what happens. My mind is blown. Like she's even saying like your skin can't be smooth though because you're picking at it, but you keep doing it to make it be smooth again. And dude, I'm, I'm, I have never related to something more in my life. Um, 
I probably have, but anyway, I'm being over dramatic right now. Like I will pick at my skin, like this is TMI, pretty gross, but I wear socks all the time, recommended by my therapist, because I will also pick at my skin on my feet. And she, Colleen suffers with that as well. She, same thing. So I'm not alone in this, but it's really gross, I know. But like, if I have, um, I have cracked heels a lot. And if like, I feel my cracked heels, I need to pick them. I need to make them smooth because they're cracked and rip off that skin. Like she just, she just perfectly said what my brain is thinking without me knowing my brain is thinking that. And like, I didn't know that that's what I need to do is make it smooth. And that's why I always pick at it is because I need it to be smooth. My mind is freaking blown <laughs> right now. Anyway, um, I'm gonna continue watching her video, edit my video and um, back to your regular scheduled programming. <laughs> I'm currently waiting on my second batch of cookies to cool and then we can do a third batch. Um, I'm obsessed with these cookies. I want to eat all of them. And that is not good. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> like they're good. It's not good that I made them at the same time. While my video is going to be exporting and uploading, it takes over an hour because I live now in the country bum of Texas where we don't have fast internet speed anymore. And I used to be able to upload a video in like 10 minutes to YouTube and then be done. Like a 30 minute video uploaded in 10 minutes, done. There you go. Now it takes over an hour. So while that happens, I'm going to be finishing hopefully finishing the alien nanny. I want an alien nanny for Christmas or something like that. I, I always forget the title by Amanda Milo. Um, now this one so far, I'm like 60% of the way through and there's nothing about Christmas in it yet. Halloween just happened. So I don't really know the Christmas part of it yet, but it's really sweet, really cute. I really like it. I just need to read more of Amanda Milo's books, I think, so. I recommend this one for like a sweet alien romance. I don't know if it has anything to do with Christmas necessarily though. And then before bed, I always play a game on my iPad, a really fun game. I forget what it's called. It's like a kind of like a dining dash kind of game on my iPad while I listen to an audiobook before bed. And it really helps me like we just wind down for the day. Um, maybe in the next couple days, I'll like tell you what game it is because I have no idea what it is at the top of my head right now. But I'll be hopefully listening to a bunch of that because I passed the 50% mark. So uh, Fire and His Fury, by the way. I don't know if I, if I said that. Fire and His Fury, the dragon book. I, I unfortunately did not get to read any of Again, the Magic by Lisa Kleypas today. I did post a beautiful bookstagram picture of it though. Um, I didn't have time because I had to go take care of Katniss and she is currently asleep on my bed, probably in a lot of pain. We took some medicine before bed and hopefully everything's fine, but... She was really sad today, and I was really sad today. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in tomorrow's video. Bye, y'all.